Janelle Beckett. And I'm Jessica Wynn. And welcome to Transforming News. Let's begin with today's top stories. IBC announced an appreciation for its employees' hard work and additional company holiday. We will be closed on July the 3rd, 2017, the Monday before the 4th of July. Except in areas where need to maintain staffing is required to serve our customers and support the business. Way to go, Independence. And other top stories today. Give me one second. Okay, let's cut to our live action camera on scene at IBC with Natalie reporting full details regarding the new brick and story. Thank you, Janelle and Jessica. Good morning, everyone. I'm here on site at IBC where they expect a hurricane peak. This hurricane is forecasted to create misroute inquiries, missing information, delay responses, and extremely poor customer experience. It's creating a chaos within service operation areas, and they're uncertain if they can weather the, the hurricane. Let's try to get some insights and see what is going on at IBC. Hi, good morning, sir. Good Hi. morning. How are you? Good. Wait, what? wait. Are, are, are you Natalie Zygmunt? Wait, are you from Transforming News? Yes, wait, I am. Wait, am I being video recorded? Yes, you are. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I'm sorry. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. I, I love you. You're, you're one of my favorites. Thank you so much. Um, what is your name? My name is Dummy Tommy. Oh, nice to meet you, Dummy Nice to meet you. Can you please let me know what is, uh, what is going on here? What, what's going on at IBC and how are you planning to deal with the Hurricane Peak? Hurricane Peak? Uh, well, um, I think we're really well prepared for it. I mean, I know myself, when I send out inquiries, I make sure to send as little information as possible. Uh, you know, because I think that, that that way, whenever I'm sending a request, they know exactly, you know, they get as little as they need so they know how to respond uh, and not get overwhelmed. Um, secondly, I think that um, when I send an inquiry, I make sure to send it to the right department. So when I'm sending an inquiry to the billing team, I make sure to uh, send them something related to AR because they know exactly when they get it, they should send it to AR. And, you know, that's, that's the correct thing to do. Uh, and then lastly, I just make sure when I'm sending inquiries that uh, because it, I'd be sending them all over the place, they, they usually come back to me about five or six or seven times, which is okay, I mean, right? So it'll eventually come back to me, and I'll, I'll say one thing or another thing, and they'll send it back, and it keeps going back and forth. But eventually it works out about after the seventh inquiry. So I think we're really well prepared to weather the storm. Thank you very much, Dami Tommy. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. Thank you. Hi, I'm Janelle Beckett. And I'm Jessica Wood. And welcome to Transforming, Transforming News. News. Let's lead with today's top story. Yes, yeah, so today's top story is a follow-up on Hurricane Peak. We've been told that IBC service operation has weathered the storm. Let's cut to Transforming News team reporter Faith, who is live on scene at IBC Central location. I'm here now live with the SME to get more details on how they weathered the storm. Optimus Prime, can you tell us more about it? Yes, we were very instrumental in preparing for this storm mm -hmm. that came upon us so quickly. Okay. Uh, what we did was we tried to implement certain mechanisms to prepare our staff for the storm that was coming our way. Okay. We implemented things like a template system, mm -hmm. we implemented uh, a queue listing, okay. and we also built something called the education station. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit more about the templates that you used? Absolutely. We used what was called uh, response templates and request templates. Okay. Request templates are templates that are used from our partners that are requesting information. We felt that it would be helpful to have a universal platform or a universal um, system on how to request that information so that we can properly answer your request efficiently and effectively. Okay, and what about the cues list? The cues list, the cues list was a list of where to send your information okay. so that we can receive your information mm -hmm. effectively and timely, and then that way it, it was a letting you know what to do. We also put together what was called the education station. Right. Our education station is a central location mm -hmm. where all of the information is housed, from our response templates, our request templates, as well as the queue listings, letting us letting you know where to send your information, as well as what we call our job aids. Our job aids is letting you know 
what we do and how to get it done, meaning what information is needed mm -hmm. and where to send that information. All right, thank you so much. Not a problem. <laughs> now we're gonna catch up with Dummy Tommy to get more details on the storm. I'm here with Dummy Tommy to see how he feels about the changes. Dummy Tommy, how do you feel? I feel great. The request templates make it so much easier. The information I get from the service and sales, they know exactly what I need in order to do the response. And then the response templates, whew, I can't even tell you how much easier it makes my job. Now I know exactly where to go. I can go to either the ISIS or ECS to find the information I need when I'm doing all my responses. And the cues list thing, let me tell you, they make my job so much easier. Before, when I was sending inquiries this way and that, now I send it to the right place the first time, rather than having it to get bounced back to me about six or seven times, which used to happen. And then lastly, the education station makes it so much easier. Now I know exactly where I need to go in order to find the information. Now I don't have to call my mom and ask, hey mom, where do I go to find this information? You used to work here, right? All these different changes make my life so much easier and make me a lot smarter. And everything, all these different changes, it makes me feel like I want to dance. <laughs> I'm glad to see Dummy Tommy doing so much better. <laughs> now back to you, Jessica and Janelle at the newsroom. Well, that's great, Faith. Everyone make sure to tune in to Transforming News at 10 p.m. for the latest and breaking news stories across the entire IBC Corporation. I'm Janelle Beckett. And I'm Jessica Wynn signing off for Transforming News. <laughs>